Every so often, the universe gives us magnifying glasses, letting us peer deeper into the cosmos than our technology would otherwise allow. In fact, it was one of these lenses that led to the discovery of the second most distant galaxy ever observed. And of course, it's gravity that's responsible for these lenses, hence the name gravitational lensing. So let's talk about it. Thanks to Einstein, we now know that gravity is best described as the curvature of spacetime. The bigger the mass, the more spacetime is bent, and so the more trajectories deviate from what would otherwise be straight lines. But interestingly, this applies to light just as much as it does to matter. For example, consider the kinds of visual distortions that happen around black holes. But this phenomenon can also be remarkably useful when we're lucky. When a distant object is behind a massive galaxy or galaxy cluster, the gravitational pull of the foreground object can bend the light inwards like a lens. As a consequence, it appears as if the light comes from a larger source. This is because light that is bending inward more converges at a larger angular size, and angular size is exactly the notion that captures how big a thing appears to be, or equivalently, how far away it appears to be. To quote Father Ted, Small, far away. I forget it. Unfortunately, this is fairly rare. To see significant magnification, it requires very unlikely alignments between the lensing object and the background object. For this reason, a given galaxy, say 5 billion light years away, only has a roughly 1 in 2 million chance of causing a lensing event that produces a magnification of more than 10. Fortunately, there are enough galaxies that we do occasionally get lucky. And then we get beautiful images like this. 